I hear people talking bad about the way we have to live here in this country. Harping on wars, we fight and griping about the way things ought to be. And I don't mind them switching sides and standing up to things they believe in. When they're running down my country, man, they're walking on the fight beside me. This is Jason with the Forever Free Gunner. Bring you a video today of the ZPAP 92. Um, we did some upgrades to it. I'll zoom in on those here in a minute. We're going to go ahead and try the four-piece muzzle brake and um, three other muzzle brakes, and we'll zoom in on those here in a minute. Um, the first one's going to be the four-piece muzzle brake. I'm going to shoot five rounds uh, pretty rapidly through it, see if we can get a big flame out of it. And then we're going to shoot this um, this one here. We're going to shoot this one here, five out of that one. And then the other one's in the truck, already on the adapter for the um, 14 uh, by one left hand thread I have an adapter so let me get my ear pro on and we'll get this party started okay okay guys so um I did go ahead and buy this uh adapter it's um 14 by one left hand thread it's for a traditional AK style muzzle brake it does not have a keeper pin so I have a, a high temp o-ring washer on here to help um, get it torqued down to the right so what we're gonna do is we'll do these two last because we'll have to swap them out so this one is the strike industries I don't remember its exact name it's the strike industries and then this one is Midwest industries two two-piece muzzle brake this one's like two-piece and it's supposed to be a flash hide or two but we'll see well you'll see here in a second so we'll start five rounds through the Z-PAP with the four-piece muzzle brake. This is an American-made muzzle brake from uh, akbuilders.com. And uh, it's branded as their, their own. It doesn't have anybody else's name on it. No flames. I didn't see any flames. Did you? Okay. Gonna go ahead and put the weapon on safe. Okay. Original booster. Five rounds. Okay. I think that was five, huh? Now we're going to spit. This is the Midwest Industries one. Shoot. Uh, five out of here. flash almost every time okay guys last but not least on the zpap 92 we have the strike industry and shoot five out of this one We'll shoot a few out of this. So 
So guys, no flash whatsoever as far as I could tell. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get in and do some editing. I'll give you all the stuff, stats on all these different uh, muzzle brakes. And then show you what we did with the handguard and everything. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Guys, again, God bless and keep that powder dry. Hey guys, Jason here with Forever Free Gunner. Bringing you the final video on as far as as far as the upgrades go on the Zustava Arms ZPAP 92 pistol. This is a 10 inch barrel AK-47 variant. Um, shoot 7.62 by 39. As you can see, we have the four piece muzzle brake on here. This muzzle brake is by um, AK Builders or AKBuilder.com akbuilder.com and this was the most effective flash hider um period so it does impart more recoil on the shooter obviously because it is not a brake it is a flash hider and because this is a home defense slash truck gun don't know if i'll have to be using it during the daytime nighttime and vice versa so it is absolutely needed the flash hider more than it needs the recoil mit mitigation this is the setup and before we go into the rest of the muzzle brakes i will show you this is the tdi um foregrip on there okay um i will roll in some videos close uh, close-up pictures in the video right here right now of this uh forearm I will tell you, it is not for the lighthearted. I did have to bust my booty. It took about two hours of sanding, taking it off, putting it back on, taking it off, putting it back on. Five thousandths off of the, the top piece here, and uh, two thousandths off of the actual keeper. And then uh, hand file until this, the piece that slides into your lower back um, part of your rifle here, or pistol here, um, slid it in. Um, that took, you know, three or four times before it would actually fit in there. Um, and with a couple of taps of the hammer fit nice and snug. So guys, um, it doesn't go anywhere. There's no wobble side to side or front to back. Um, so as far as just drop in ready, uh, it is not just drop in ready. There's lots of variants in, in rifles, um, even Yugoslavian stuff, even though these are really tight and right guns as far as all the ones I have seen and had the pleasure to uh, shoot before I decided to get my own. Um, there is no cant on the front sight. Uh, it is just a well-made and probably the, my favorite AK I have ever owned. Um, and I've owned quite a few, including uh, original Mac 90s and original uh, Kalashnikova um, Mac 90s, which really are just, you know, uh, semi-automatic AK-47s, uh, fire control groups different. Um, so back when they were able to be imported, um, my dad had one and gave it to me. And uh, one of the guns I regret getting rid of the most, but um, I actually like these Yugo variants um, a little bit more. Um, and as they become more popular now that Russian weapons aren't around, we're going to see more companies like this TDI coming out with better fitting stuff. So guys, uh, there are options for lower grips and stuff for these Yugos, so don't be afraid to go pick one up. And Zustava Arms um, is putting out a really bang em up product. Nobody's paid me to say this. Um, I purchased this with my own money. This is... Um, now my truck gun slash um home defense so this um has its place in my household but with that being said guys i will put pictures like i said up and then we'll go into the muzzle brakes here this one is the strike industries um this is their flash hider slash muzzle brake. It is very effective, um, and it is the second best out of the four that are here. Um, number one being the uh, four-piece 
uh, akbuilder.com's um, four-piece muzzle brake. Um, this Strike Industries is number two, but still would ruin your night vision at night. This one will not. Um, and then in third place would be the booster crank style brake that comes with the gun. Um, would be in uh, third place. And in last place would be um, the Midwest Industries. Uh, muzzle brake. Now I know it's kind of not fair to um, compare a muzzle brake and a flash hider together, but this one states that it uh, has flash hiding uh, capabilities. And on the 16 inch Riley defense that I have, it does. It does um, mitigate some of the flash, uh, but a lot of the flash is taken up because all the powder is burnt up in the barrel mostly, not all of it, but um, in a 16 inch barrel, this is effective, not as effective as this one here from strike industries. So this is the one that's on my 16 inch gun guys, this piece here that you see this screwed into is an adapter from CNC warrior guys. Um, this is a 26 by 1.5, um, thread pitch in left hand down to a 14 to one left hand thread pitch for the typical AK-47 um, muzzle brake, um, flash hider, slant brake, typical um, left hand threads. So you can buy these in like the 308 thread, the, I don't remember what it is, but 308 thread pattern. So you could put 308 brakes on this 30 cal. Um, guys, so um, that's it really. I'll go ahead and cut to the testing and let you guys take a look and make the decision for yourself. But I'm going to go with the flash hider because again, I said, I don't know when I'm going to have to use it. If it's going to be at night in the house, outside in the truck, outside in the night or the daytime. And I uh, would rather trade a little bit more recoil for not having the flash um, which could make me lose my um, natural night vision and as well as um, give away my position if I was shooting from a little further away in a concealed um, location. So with that being said again, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Again, God bless. Keep that powder dry.